wildlife plays an important role in maintaining the balance of various ecosystems. So what is conservation? Conservation simply means to use something wisely. It does not mean not to use, but to use with sense, wisely, so that the present generation will not suffer, the present, so that the present generation would enjoy all those resources and leave behind for the generations that are coming behind, so that they will not suffer. That is the sense of conservation. So many things have lived in the past. If people are so conscious of using them, most of us would have the opportunity of seeing those things. The implication of this is just that, that the things that we use in the environment do not belong to us. We inherit those things and we must leave them behind for the future generations that will come behind us to enjoy and leave behind for those that will come behind them. That is just the simplest way I think I could put across what conservation of resources, especially of natural resources, what it means. Zoological garden uh, serves several purposes. Number one is for entertainment. People come in, uh, generally sit around, enjoy viewing the animals and generally relaxing. Then you can also have research that we have here. People come in to do research on the animals. They want to do some study, maybe on birds, on herbivores, on carnivores. So they come in to do the research. Then it's also for conservation. Now, there are some animals that are going extinct. They will, you will not find them after some time because they have been overhunted or their, their habitat has been destroyed. We have some of them here, like the mandrel monkeys, for instance. We have very few of them left in the world. We're lucky to have some of them here. Okay, so the zoological garden is also for conservation. You keep these animals, you make them breed so that we can have more of them. Sometimes you can release some of them back to the wild. Okay, but generally for conservation, for research, and for entertainment. The zoological gardens, um, as it were, they, they play about three roles. The first, and which is the primary, where you find it in uh, many universities is that it's for educational purposes, for research and learning. But the other crops from that is conservation. Because you conserve these things, um, you breed some of these things, uh, those uh, species that are endangered and disappearing, you take them there, you conserve them, you breed them there, which is very good. Um, also, you find that you can also get tourism, it's money, you spend money also from this. So that is generally the way uh, it's managed. The universe has enjoyed immeasurable contributions that wildlife species have made to human development in virtually all countries of the world. But in Nigeria, what is it like? Do we really have any conservation work going on here in Nigeria? I don't think so. I want to believe that um, for the academics, perhaps you'll be able to mention just a few places. Uh, the zoological and botanical garden that they have in the University of Ibadan. Uh, the conservation area that was started many years ago and uh, it's been 
constricted to a very small area along Lake Key axis, opposite Chevron. And perhaps that's just a few that I have noted around me here. Uh, maybe the ranches that you have up north and uh, maybe the, uh, the ranches that you have, Ubudu Ranch and things like that, still have some measure of preservation of whatever animals that they have within the ranch there. But generally speaking, I have not seen any serious uh, program by government, whether state or federal, that has addressed the issue of conservation. There are some things that people did uh, in the past, uh, not as elaborate as you find it now, but you find in some, in some um, compounds, because you know we used to settle in, as communities in compounds, you will find them maybe preserving a big, huge crocodile and that could, tortoise that could live for 300 years, 400 years, and they will say they are worshipping it. Is, uh, this is a traditional way of conserving some of these things. Um, if you go to Algungu, for example, festival, you know that for a period of one year, nobody fished there. That was the, 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 the tradition. Of course, they told them that if you feel there, you will die, but you know, it's a cultural thing. So, that at any time they went there to crop, they will actually have large size fish, and also they allow the fish to go through its normal cycle. So, they conserve the species there, uh, and yet they are exploiting it. So, this is the kind of uh, way that I think we should. Um, promote conservation. So we should encourage this compound community type of, of uh, conservation, of course not by uh, placing taboos on them. So we encourage more private ownership, or, uh, NGO ownership, local government ownership of uh, zoological gardens, of botanical gardens. Uh, it's not just zoological gardens. For example, when we were growing up, uh, I was a student at TIFE. We had a very uh, large botanical garden. And we will go in there just to enjoy ourselves, to, to, to live in kind of paradise, to experience paradise, you know. Um, so those kind of things should still be available to, to our kids. <laughs>
Biodiversity is fast disappearing everywhere in our country here. The land that you have that you call wetlands, people are already encroaching and building on areas that are supposed to be left as natural conservation areas.